What's going on guys? John Elder here from tkinter.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add styles and themes to your apps for Kinter. Alright guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to add colorful styles and themes to your apps for Kinter. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book and download that today. And while you're there, be sure to check out tkinter.com where I have a bunch of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code in Kinter. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership on my courses, videos, and my Kinter book for one low price. Okay, like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add all kinds of styles and themes to your apps. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this, one using the regular style widget and another one sort of a secret hacky thing I'm going to show you. And uh, that will be cool. And you can see I've got just a, a very basic app here, fake login screen with a button and some toggly things and, you know, all the things. And we can change the theme around to all kinds of different really cool options. And if we look through here, let's see, we've got black, we've got blue, we've got uh, plastic, I don't know. Let's see, what are some other good ones? Croc, it's kind of an interesting one. Look at the buttons, kind of like wood, sort of, a little bit, I don't know. Let's see, what else? Aquativo. Yaru, <laughs> I don't know. And these are all already pre-made for us. And I'll show you how to use them. Look at the button there. It looks kind of interesting. These things are changed. Whoa, Equilux. <laughs> all right. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's head over to code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and then get Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've gone ahead and created a file. I'm calling it s.py, short for style.py. And it's our basic Kinter starter code that we always have, but I've gone ahead and added a few things, all the stuff you just saw. So uh, the label at the top, a frame, some entry boxes and labels, the button and that radio button. And these are just basic TTK widgets. Now this is important. You actually have to use TTK widgets, not regular Kinter widgets in order for this stuff to work, right? Because the style widget is a TTK style widget. So uh, that's sort of a requisite. Really all that means is up at the top here, we got a from tkinter import TTK, right? And then for each of our things, instead of a label, it's a TTK label. Instead of an entry, it's a TTK entry. Instead of a button, it's a TTK button, right? So you get the idea. So, okay. Now, like I said, I'm going to show you two different methods to do. And the first one we're going to look at just the regular basic style widget. Very simple, very straightforward. So let's define style. And I'm going to create a variable. I'm just going to call it style. And this is a ttk.style widget. And we're going to be doing this in root. And right off the bat, you can always change your style just by calling style.theme underscore use and then just setting something. If you know what the different styles are that come with TTK, uh, you could just sort of do that. So if we change this to clam, I'm in my ctkenter.com directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on. Let's just run python s.py. And when you do right off the bat, you can see it's already changed a little bit. This is the clam theme. If we change this back to, for instance, uh, just the default theme, save this and run it again, uh, you see eh, not much has changed. But if you really look closely, you can see some changes, right? So, okay, that's not that interesting. What we want to know is, A, what are all the different styles that come with the style widget? And B, how do we use each of them at the click of a button? How do we change that? So we can do that real quick just by C included styles, for instance. And let's just print this into the terminal so we could take a look at it. And this is just going to be ttk.style and then dot theme underscore names. So if we save this and run it and then close it again, boom, we get a list of the theme names. And these are going to be dependent on your computer. I'm on a Windows computer, so I'm getting Windows things. If you're on a Mac computer or a Linux computer, you're going to get Mac or Linux options. So I, you see Win Native, Clam, Alt, Alternative, Default, Classic, Vista, and XP Native. So these are the basic styles that come with TTK, right? So, all right, let's play around with this. Let's make a little menu that pops each of these up that we can toggle through so we can see exactly what they all look like. So. Let's come down here and let's 
create a menu. And I'm going to call this my menu. It's going to be a menu. We want to put it in root. Let's go root.config and set the menu to my underscore menu. So now let's create a theme underscore menu, and that's going to equal menu. And what, what menu? My menu. And let's go my underscore menu dot add underscore cascade. And we want to label equal, and this is a lowercase l. You know, it kind of looks like a, an uppercase l, but it's lowercase. And let's just type themes, and then menu equals file underscore menu. I'm going through this menu stuff very quickly. I assume you already know how to do it. If not, I've got tons of videos on menus. So, okay, so this will just throw up a little menu that says themes on it. Now, inside of that, let's go sub menu. We want to add each of these style things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this and let's create a variable called r underscore themes and set it equal to that. So this will just be a Python list that we can reference, right? So let's come down here to our sub menu and let's loop through each of these and create a little menu for each one. So let's go for, uh, let's call this T short for themes in r underscore themes. We want to file underscore menu dot add a command and want the label to equal T, whatever each one of those things is. And let's give this a command of, now we want to pass this to a function and then update our app with that function. So let's create a function called changer and we want to pass in T. So we don't have this function yet. Let's go ahead and create it real quick. Let's say change style. So let's define changer. And for now, let's just pass. And we also want to pass in that theme, which is T down here. So, okay, this actually won't quite work. We need to use a Lambda when we're passing something in with Kinter like this with menu. That's just what you have to do. So LEM BDA. And I know this again, looks like an uppercase L that's a lowercase L. And there we go. Now this won't quite work again, but but it's good enough for now and we can tinker with it in a second. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. See if that worked. Uh oh, file menu is not defined. What did we call this? We called it theme menu, not file menu. There we go. And it looks like I did it there too. I always call that the file because you want to like open a file, close a file. It's usually the thing you do first in the menu. So I just kicked into default, but this is actually theme menu. Okay, there we go. Now this should work. Let's clear this screen, run this guy again. There we go. So now we get a list of all of these themes there. That looks cool. I'm getting this tear off thing. Let's get rid of that. Let's come down here and go tear off equals zero to get rid of that tear off. Okay, so that little dotted thing is gone. But now when we click on this, let's change the label here just so we can see if it is actually updating. So let's head back over here. And like I said, we're gonna have to make a change here because, well, I'll just show you. If we take our label, so this is my underscore label dot config and set the text equal to an F string, and let's say log in and then pass in whatever that theme is. If we save this and run it, you're gonna see a little problem here. I'll show you. So let's click on default. It says login XP native. Well, that's the very last thing in the list. So it's looping through there and each one of these gets added, whatever the last thing is. So it's a little bit of a problem, but we could fix it fairly easily just by changing our Lambda. If we come through here and give a space here and go T equals T and then do this, that'll get rid of that little problem there. So go ahead and save this and run it, make sure that worked. Okay, so when native, alt, classic, default, Vista. Okay, so that's working. Now we just need to change the style. So we can do that super easy. Let's just come up here and change style. And to do that, we just call style.theme underscore use and then pass in whatever our theme is. All right. And here I'm going to put a theme thing there. So, all right, let's run this guy one more time and play with these themes. So this is the default. Here's when native. That looks cool. Clam, a little bit different. Alt, default, a little 
diamonds there, right? For the radio buttons. Vista, remember Windows Vista? Ugh, that was horrible. And XP native. Okay, so that's a quick and easy way to change the styles using the built-in styles with TTK. But, you know, it's kind of limited, right? We only have these things. And if you're on a Mac or a Linux, you're going to have different options and less options even than that. So we can actually install a package that has a whole bunch of other ones that have already been created. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's go up to the top here and let's go from TTK themes. We want to import themed TK. Now this theme TK is what our app is going to become. So right here in our root where we define this as just a TK app, we need to change that to a themed TK app. Go ahead and save this. Now this TTK themes is a package, like I said, it's a library with all these different themes and we actually need to pip install that in order for it to work. So let's head over to our terminal and clear the screen and let's just go pip install and then paste that guy in. Now I've already got it. So it's going to say, Hey, you've already got it. Now this might take a minute or two to actually download and install because there's a lot of stuff here, right? So now if we run our app and then just close it, you can see there's some different things listed than before. And if we just really kind of quickly spot check this, these aren't that exciting. Just changes this to blue, like see the blue outline and the button is sort of blue. Uh, mint is green. Pink is, you know, pink button, right? Purple, same deal. Not that interesting, but we can add a little something else that comes in this package here. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go R underscore themes two and set that equal to root dot get underscore themes. And now in our loop, where we're adding things to the menu, instead of looping through our themes, we're going to loop through our themes too. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. Pull this over here. And now we've got a lot more, right? And you can see Aqua Vito radiance. That's a cool one. When I highlight it, it changes color. That's cool, right? Uh, let's see what else we got that croc one. It's kind of strange. Psy blue, Psy D blue, <laughs> I don't know. Plastic. And if we just come through here, radiance, that's a cool one. Adapta, that's kind of neat. What else we got? Smog. Plastic. Uh, the mint one, the pink one. Ubuntu, Linux, that looks cool. Breeze, we've got black. Already looked at croc. Yaru, that's kind of a neat one. All right. Elegance, that is not <laughs> elegant at all. Oh, it's a terrible name. Equilux, kind of dark. Sand. Ceramic. <laughs> Clear looks. I don't know. Arc. Interesting. You'll notice in blue, some of them have changed colors. Some of them are styled different. Like, you know, there's diamonds instead of circles here for the radio buttons. The button looks different in some of them. Uh, and this ITFT1. Now, if you want to check all these out, just head over to Google and type in Kinter TTK themes. And you can go to this TTK themes .read the docs .io, And it has all of them there. Here's the themes and you can sort of see them scroll through them and get a better understanding, read a little bit more about them. Is that croc one? <laughs> Very cool, and it's just that easy. Now, obviously, for this thing we just created, we made an app that lists them all, and you won't have to do that in your everyday app building. If you just wanted to use one of these themes, all you'd have to do is pip install it, add this line up here, change your root to theme to TK, and then just create a style 
and set your style theme.use to whatever one of those you, you wanted. So instead of theme, you would type in, you know, croc or whatever, whatever that thing was that we saw earlier. And again, if you don't remember what each of those things are, you can always go to that website and look through them. Radiance, that was one. Plastic, that was one. These are all capitalized. You use the lowercase when you actually use it in your app. So keep that in mind. Or you could just do what I just did here. You could download this from my GitHub and just have this thing to play around with to see what, you know, what's what. You, so you can have a menu with all of them listed and just play around with it. So that's two very quick and easy ways you can add styles and themes to your app. Now, some of these are outdated. Some of these are terrible looking. Some of them are okay. And you can sometimes tinker with them a little bit too. We'll talk about that in another video. Uh, but that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out tkinter.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership. That's access to all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDF of my Kinter widget book. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com, and I'll see you in the next video.